cars of the hanging. They're painting the passports brown. The beauty parlors filled with sailors and the circus is in town. Here comes the blind commission. Well, they got him in a trance. One hand is tied to the typewriter walker and the other one is in his and the riot squad, they're restless, but they need somewhere to go. As late at night, look outside from Desolation Road. to no one she smiles and puts her hands in her back pockets Betty Davis style and in comes Romeo he's moaning <laughs> you belong to me I believe oh. then someone says you're in the wrong place my friend you better leave and the only sound that's left after the ambulance is gone Sweeping up on Desolation Road. Now the moon is almost hidden, and the stars are beginning to hide. The fortune telling lady has even taken all her things inside, all except for Cain and Abel, and the hunchback of Notre Dame. Everybody is making love, or else expecting rain. And the good Samaritan he's dressing, he's getting ready for the show. He's going to the carnival tonight on Desolation Road. Now, Ophelia, she sees the window. For her, I feel so afraid on her 22nd birthday. She already is an old maid. Well, to her death is quite romantic. She wears an iron vest. Her profession, her religion, her sin is her life. And although her eyes are fixed upon Noah's great rainbow, she spends her time peeking into desolation. Einstein disguises Robin Hood with his memories in a trunk. And this way, an hour ago, with his friends and jealous punks. Oh, he looked so immaculately frightful as he bombed his cigarette. Then he went off to sniff and drink by Santa, reciting the alphabet. Now you would not think to look at him, but he was famous long ago for playing the electric violin on Desolation Road. Dr. Phil, he keeps his world inside of a leather cup, but all his sexless patients, they are trying to blow it up. Now, his nurse, some local loser, she's in charge of the cyanide hole, and also she keeps the cards that read, have mercy on his soul. Well, they all play on the penny whistles, you can hear them blow, if you lean your head out far enough. From Desolation. 
foundation. Across the street they've nailed the curtain. They're getting ready for the feast. The Phantom of the Opera. Perfect image of a priest. They're spoon feeding Casa Nova to get him to feel more assured. Then they'll kill him with self confidence after poisoning him with words. And the Phantom's shouting to skinny girls, get out of here if you don't know. As a Nova just being punished for going down to desolation broke. Now it's midnight, all the agents and the superhuman crew. Come on out and round up everyone that knows more than they do. Then they bring them to the factory where the heart attack machine is strapped across their shoulders and then the kerosene is brought down from the castle by assurance men who go check to see that nobody is escaping to desolation rope. And everybody is shouting, which side are you on? Ezra Pound and T.S. Eliot are fighting for the, in the captain's tower, and fight for the tower too, while Calypso singers laugh at them and fishermen hold loud. Between the windows of the sea where lovely mermaids blow, and no one has to think too much about desolation room. Yes, I received your letter yesterday about the time the door knocked. When you asked how I was doing, was that some kind of joke? All these people that you mentioned, yes, I know them. They're all quite lame. I had to rearrange their faces, give them all another name. All right, now I can't read too good. Don't you send me no more letters, no. Not unless you mail them from Desolation Road. Desolation Road. Thank you.